bit chilly, a bit windy, so I've decided to get out of the house. I've been practicing social exclusion for most of the the day, and uh, I decided to get up to the Malham Lone Tree. I've not been here for a, a while. Checked all the forecasts, and it was predicted to be 50-50 for a a sunset but the clouds seem to be shifting quite rapidly so you never know. Rather strange times at the moment with the with the virus happening and the uncertainty about where we're gonna be next week, next month, next year. Anyway I'm not gonna talk a lot about COVID-19 because you're educated enough to educate yourself. If I could say well, two quick things, practice social isolation and for the love of everything that's holy, don't bloody panic by. I understand the psychology and pain why people panic by but I saw a video this morning of a mental, mental health nurse who was sat in a car crying her eyes out. Then Come up, Arlen. I was crying her eyes out because she'd been on a 48-hour shift at work. She'd got to the local shop and there was nothing left for her to buy. And to see somebody who's worked 48 hours to potentially go hungry was awful. Anyway, I'll show you the tree. The grass in every single gap in the rocks is trampled beyond belief. It's been really, really well used to the point where you're almost losing some of the grass, which will be a big shame. Sunset camera right. There is a slight gap in the clouds at the moment. And the clouds behind the tree aren't looking too bad. Not too bad at all. Obviously very skeletal looking tree with it being winter and you've got several little bushes that have started to grow and I've, I've noticed them grow over the years from really small saplings to rather annoying distractions at the moment. I may leave them in, I may take them out. Yeah, again, Lynn's just trying to find something different, but there really isn't anything you can do different from here. Uh, and that's not me being lazy. There's just not a lot to be able to photograph. Some nice movement in the clouds. I've got a lot of time lapse going, so the clouds are going from left to right. You can't really do long exposures because if you do them with the wind in, it's, it's not significant, but it's enough to move the branches. You lose some of the form of the tree, you want it crisp. And I believe there is a way you can process that in Photoshop to retain the movement in the sky, but have sharp branches in the tree without having to mask out every single branch. <sighs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a difficult one, difficult one. But I'm glad to be out as opposed to being in, because it is, Apart from the two vans that are just driving past, quite a tranquil place to be. Sun setting in, got a good half an hour yet, and there's a bit of colour already on the horizon. There is a bit of colour, <laughs> is there? Yep, yeah, there is a bit of colour, yeah, yeah, I got it right. I've got a good feeling. I think we're going to get some colour behind the tree. I must have been here a dozen times and I've never captured any colour behind the tree at all. Right, enough waffling. Let's take some photographs. So after much de deliberation, I have concluded, or rather we've concluded, Lynn and I, that there's absolutely nothing new to be had from here in these conditions. The skies 
not too bad. It's freezing. It's a frigid wind. The flora is ugly as chuff. Apart from that, it's great to be out. But I would challenge anybody to produce something different from this specific location under any circumstances and take some photographs because the alternative as I may have mentioned is to be at home as pleasant as that is to be out in the fresh air is wonderful and what, one thing I have done mainly today I've taken the lead off James Pops here and I've been going round handheld taking relatively low down photographs and I've been tilting the camera down to try to emphasize the foreground interest and to diminish the tree itself nice cloud movement the sun didn't quite produce any lovely light on the back of the tree or on the tree there was a flicker probably 10 seconds where as I was looking through my viewfinder there was a bit there was a little bit of there was a tiny bit of colour and I thought here we go here we go it's gonna happen but it didn't it's just about blanket cloud there's a tiny bit of blue in the sky but if I get anything I'll post it up it'll be nothing original nothing special at the moment it's a pleasant winter's evening it's not raining the winds dropped it's not an attractive tree though I have to say the one near Pickering, not the Pickering, the one near Yorkshire Sculpture Park, I believe is much better. What this, what this has got is a limestone that leads you perfectly into the tree. Anyway, I am waffling. It is sunset time and unless it makes a miraculous punch through the clouds on the horizon, I think we've had it. Hanging out for another 20 minutes. Here's what I got. See ya. Get the best of me